Begin by prepping the yeast mixture and you'll do this by mixing 1 cup of warm water, 1 tablespoon of sugar and 1 tablespoon of yeast. Let sit for 5 minutes until you get this consistency. Meanwhile, put 3 cups of white flour into a bowl, then add 3 quarter teaspoon of salt and combine these two things until they're well mixed. Next, add in three tablespoons of oil, as well as the yeast mixture you prepped beforehand. Now begin stirring it, all these ingredients together until you get a harder consistency. Once you've reached that consistency, you may take it out of the bowl and begin kneading it until it's very smooth and the type of dough you want to work with. Then let it sit for one hour so it can rise. Next, flour surface to make it nice and smooth. And then take out your dough that has already risen, cut it into eight pieces, and then begin rolling it out in whichever way you want to make sure it's about half an inch thick. Now it's time to form your pretzels. Give it two spins, lay it down, and then put the top over. Transfer your pretzels to a baking sheet so they can sit there for the next step. Before the next step, preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Now we're going to make a baking soda wash. This consists of three cups of water and bring it to a boil. This baking soda wash will give the pretzels a brown color when baking and also their special taste. Add one tablespoon of baking soda to the water. Mix it thoroughly and let it boil. Now we're going to make a glaze. This is half a cup of water and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Set the pot on medium heat and stir it. Continue stirring it slowly until you get a jelly-like consistency. When it's done, put the pretzels in the now boiling baking soda wash for 30 seconds each. Once they're done, you can slice up the sides of the pretzels. Then give them their glaze. and then add the coarse sea salt. Lastly, you can add sesame seeds to your taste. Bake them for about 15 minutes or until golden brown, and then enjoy.